label in the package with the product, okay? Now, what I need for this, I need, in order to be able to do this dish, I need to have the water boiling, and it's just coming to the boil now. You could look inside to that pot, but let me just pro promise you that this pot here is got little bubbles are rising vigorously to the surface. Hello, about to get your pasta. So, it's a cup and about a third. All right, that's what I need. What I'm, what I, what I always do with pasta is I limit myself portion size to two ounces, just two ounces weight per serving, all right? And the two ounce plunks up to a pound um, when, um, not up to a pound, to four ounces when it's done. All right, so it's now boiling and I want that, you just disturb it for a moment. There we go. And now, I want that to have just one minute. Um, come, I love this. Here, here's one minute. One minute. Start. Uh, start. Okay. Now, in the package, they suggest that you cook it for one to two minutes. So I did a test at two minutes. And I found that it was a, not exactly al dente, and I wanted it to suit the tooth, to be resistant to the tooth. And I found out that, uh, that, that it was a bit overdone. And they also suggest 16 minutes to let the thing set. And so I pulled that back 15 minutes. And at 15 minutes and the one minute, that's it. Good. All right, so now take it off the side of the stove right now. Just put it, put it away and let the bubble cease and let it set now for 16 minutes. Uh, that's why I have different colored timers. <laughs> Shut up. Um, good. <laughs> it was just telling me that <laughs> one minute was up. Um, okay, so I want... I want this to go for 15 minutes, and I've, I've been fiddling around for a minute, so we'll put it at 14 minutes. Yes, you've got another thing. Oh, yeah, good. Yes. So, Mama828 would like to know, what's your favorite special occasion meal? That's a very good question, and I give it to you at this very moment. If I had people here for a meal, I had um, a reporter from the New York Times who was taking a little light relief from politics and came to see me. Um, and um, so um, I really wanted to do something for him which was special. So what I do, um, I, I told you I go to Costco. Well, Costco also have, let's see what I can find. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't this fun? You never see this done on television. I think I gave my last ones away to my daughter the other day. No, oh, I have one left. <laughs> okay, there's a company called Morningstar, and Morningstar do things in little packages um, with, with small burger-like things. All right. Now, for Costco, they make a large... Um, black bean and jalapeno burger. And that's what this one is here. So it's kept frozen. What I do is I slip that into a pan. It takes about eight minutes, on, uh, four minutes on either side and a fairly bright pan. And it's lovely and crisp on the outside. It is delicious. It's very well done. It's copied of one of the things that I did several years ago. And and thank you for copying. It, co flattery is, 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 well, it's very flattering to be copied. So what I do is I then make some scrambled eggs, like the, like the omelette that I'm doing here. 
and I get a slice of sweet potato and I cook that and I put the slice of sweet potato on top of that patty, I pile on to the top of that the scrambled eggs in the southwestern style um, with hot peppers in it and then I put a slice of cheese over the top of that which melts down over the top. Mm. And I've got to tell you, it's, and, and people love it. It looks wonderful when it's presented and they really do enjoy it. And I, that has to be the, the, the thing that I enjoy doing mostly. It's quite simple to do, okay? And I'll show you how you do the scrambled egg and the stuff a little bit later today. Does that make sense? Okay. And, and she calls herself MO885 or something. Oh dear. We've all got numbers, haven't we? <laughs> well, I am 22654920. Sir, you know, it's my old British Army number. Um, okay, so this is going fine here. That, those are the steaming. This is pasta, which is going away here. And so let's see where we go next. Um, yes. Um, that's all taking place. So let me switch your attention over to this side where I've got my breakfast, which I want to show. And um, for this, you need a small, let's say, I don't know how many there are in your home, but at the moment, there's just me. So I'm into a quarter of a cup just for me of oats in the beginning. And the reason, the way I do that is I take a measure which I keep in the, <laughs> normally, because I'm using it over here. I keep um, a quarter of a cup measure in, in this thing of oats here. And by the way, the lid on my oats has the letter H on it. And I've got my letter H in various places around my kitchen to remind me that hum comes by habitually taking a high amount of food. And if you take the word threat, T-H-R-E-A-T, -E and lift the letter H out of the word threat, it means, come on, <laughs> come on, this is interactive television. What does it mean? Treat, got it. Yes, so all food can be a treat. It only becomes a threat because of the H sign, which makes more of a portion out of it. Okay, so H is the big deal. <laughs> Do you get that? Sorry, my daughter's taking a photograph. H is the big deal. <laughs> okay, so this is what I need to tell myself. Don't shake in more because you think you'd like a large bowl of oatmeal today. Try and keep it the same. And that's why I keep the measurement in the container. Now, that's a quarter cup I normally have. So I would put this in. And I do this before I go to bed at night time. I, I put that in. And sometimes, I'm not going to today because I'm using a different technique. But I have this um, container here full of dried fruit. By the way, all my containers come from um, getting um, nuts from Costco um, that without salt. I find they last longer. <laughs> and, um, and then I just peel the labels off and I've got all, all this row. I've got to tell you, my daughter Tessa does not like these. She's, she's ashamed of me with this. She said, it looks so cheap, Dan. It's, uh, it's recycling things, darling, I say. You know, this is good. So, I have because she's so great that I did go the other day and found some glass ones, which undoubtedly will probably shatter. But in, if you come back into my kitchen again sometime, who knows, um, when I'm 100, um, then you might see me with nice looking things that I can be proud of. I'm actually quite proud of recycling. So that goes into, and what I would normally do is to put that dried fruit in at the same time and then go to bed. Now, nothing's going to happen, except that in the morning, when I um, break uh, out into my new day, I can come out and literally, let's go over here for a moment. Um, I can literally feel for the hole in the bottom of the saucepan and reach into the fridge 
and pour the amount, it's twice the amount. Well, normally a quarter of a cup and I put a cup, a quarter of a cup of oats, I put a whole cup of milk. I've got two cups of milk which are going into this one. Now, um, I have an unusual um, routine in the morning, but I've tried this one so that I'd be able to talk more intelligently to you. This is the, uh, the electric stove top, and I'm going to go to about seven here, and hopefully watch it so that it doesn't over. I want to bring it to the boil because it's milk.